Do you still stay out really late now? No. You don't? You go right back home? No. Well, you got right the kid. Yeah. And the house wakes up at 6.15, whether you want to or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even up, up to you no more. Sometimes I don't mind getting up early. Like, I don't mind it. I'll work my, like, if I got a spot at the store, it's got to be early. Get me out of there by 11 so I could go to bed by 12.30. Right. I could live on 6 for a day or two and then get a good 10 or a 9 or an 8 yeah. and I'm back to normal. You can sleep for 10 hours straight. I did the other day for the first time in 10 years. Glorious. I could not. I had, I need, I, I had help, though. Right. I yes. ate like 200 Heroin. edibles. I ate like. Uh, <laughs> You're waking up every 20 minutes. There's this thing called quick Z's. They sell it at Urban Trees. It's just a little two ounce drink. It tastes like Kool-Aid. You drink that. Okay. It's got like extra melatonin. Anything that puts you to sleep naturally, it's got it's in there, but heavy. But there's with a hundred milligrams of THC, right? To really knock your fucking head. How off. long does it last? <laughs> I don't get up and pee in the middle of the night no more. You just whiz all That's over yourself. That's the main thing for me: <laughs> is not getting up to pee, going to bed, drinking water, yeah, and being able to hold it in. And like, if I could get from midnight to seven. With without a pee, like if I can get up at seven and pee, I'm good. I'll get another hour out of it till eight, because of what's been going on the last right three weeks with the school and stuff. The week before they got let out to go to school, I was supposed to go back to New York to shoot added scenes for the Soprano prequel, and I was losing it. Cause, Joe, cause I was losing it. What was I, the call time? No, no, no. I, oh. I had to go to New York. I did not want to go to New York in the middle of this pandemic. Right. And oh, I so could see really... it coming every day. I'm like, it's not going to. When then they started shooting on Wednesday, I'm like, obviously these motherfuckers aren't paying attention to the news. <sighs> then New Rochelle got smothered. And that's right next to all right. the places I'm going to be shooting. And then Thursday, it's spreading worse, you know. Trump, he doesn't know what to do. And I'm calling him going, guys, are you sure you want us to fly back east? Because I don't think we're going to. At first, my fear was not getting back. And that week, I had to do extreme measures to fall asleep. Like there was two nights. There was one night I, I stayed up a little while. I had a little stress over taking the flight. And then the next night, it was the night I drank the whole tube with a bunch of edibles. And usually, all right, so. I play on the computer this way like everybody at home does, right? Like straight up. So if I fall asleep, I'll just fall asleep like this. <laughs> and I'll put my head up and look at the computer and see what time it is. Are you playing a game on the computer? Nah, I'm oh. watching YouTube. Okay. I'm listening to YouTube on my computer, but I'm typing on the iPad. You so are. I'm listening, to the, the, I'm, I'm listening to YouTube on the big Apple, but I'm, I have the iPad and I'm typing in, you know, jokes, whatever. Yeah. Trying to clean up shit that's not going to work. And then I didn't even feel myself <laughs> get to position B, right? This is position B. That's a good position to wake up in. That's not too bad if you just lay your head on the, on the thing. Are now, you drooling all over the place? No, not at all. Now there's position not in B, C. Yeah, yeah. Position C is when you're away from the computer and you just slouch in your own lap, right? Like you so last week, two weeks ago, I actually woke up in position D, which is right from here where the chair swivels, and I just fall onto the floor, and there's a heater, and that's how I woke up. The heater was burning all my back pubic hair. <laughs> Does your daughter walk in and go, Dad's dead? No, Dad died. no, no. She's in bed at fucking 9 o'clock. Right. This is going on at 11, 11.30. <laughs> she never comes out of that room in the middle of the night. Did you ever read that thing by Steve Martin when he took Ambien? And because some people sleepwalk on Ambien, where he, when you could online gamble for money, when you could do that a few years ago. Oh, no. He, like, was gambling and he went to bed, took an Ambien. And then the next day, he went to go play uh, poker again and he noticed there was more money in his account. And so he went and looked back in his history and he had gotten up for two hours and played poker from like 4 to 6 a.m. and had no idea oh, he had wow. played and he won during that time. 
So I was, if I were him, I would have just taken an Ambien and sat down. And I don't know. Play. I don't like the ambience. Yeah, I that's tr- I, I tried I t- them a while ago and I just didn't like it one time and it just wasn't for me. Oh, I it's I it's, like when I fly out of New York, especially those early flights or the overnight flights. Yeah, taking an Ambien. No Xanax for you. I've never taken a Xanax in my life. You'd rather go with the Ambien. Someone said that Xanax. Uh, actually, the, this guy who worked for the company that sold it, he's like, stick with Ambien because Xanax is very habit forming. And I was like, very this habit. is coming from the guy who sells it. Very habit forming. And he goes, you don't want to. He goes, you don't want to mess with it too much. And I was like, okay, good to know. I will just have more wine. I'll have another glass of wine, please. But have, do you take Xanax? I'll take the Xanax. I'll well, take the point two fives. Would you take that with the sleep thing? Oh yeah. Does no, your heart no, stop no, for like no, an no, hour or an no, hour and no, a half no, 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 during no. the night? No wonder you're if not. If I take if I take an edible and I go out into a public place like Guns N' Roses or something like that, I'm gonna need a Xanax at some point of the night. So I'll bring two of those footballs with me. They're Jeez. little footballs, they're point two fives. I don't know them. They're nothing. They I do them before comedy. And does it take the edge off? It takes the edge off. Like, if I have to go to the comedy store, nine out of ten times, my wife washes them. I don't even take them. I forget to take them. So sometimes I'll go to the store, and I'll have a little anxiety on the drive, and I'll just power through it. And then once I get down, and the anxiety goes away. Sometimes it comes back, and I'm covered. So wait, what did you say your wife did? Your wife, she, you said she, are you, did you say, I, maybe I misheard, but you said she washes it? Or what was your... I leave them in my jeans, oh. and she washes most of them. <laughs> I forget to take them. Right. Because I try not to take them so you don't get hooked on them. Right, right, right. So there's a benzo addiction. So what I do is I'll put two in my jeans, and then at night I have to remember to take them out and put them back in the tin. There's okay. nights I'm leaving for the store, and I'm starting to get anxiety. I go, let me bring them with me just in case I have a full-blown attack. So you still store. get nervous on stage? Oh, no. Before. Really? Before. And it's just no fun. No. 